YouTube gets ready for blockchain and NFT technology exploration NFT, non-fungible token, Web3, blockchain, and cryptocurrencies are terms that have recently been used and sought after by the wider community. The popularity of the latest technology is also getting the attention of big companies. The popular video streaming platform YouTube for example. Susan Wojcicki, the head of the company said that their video service will be developed to help content creators take advantage of technologies such as NFT. In his annual letter outlining the company's priority plans, Wojcicki didn't talk about specific YouTube-specific plans, but explained that going forward the company will develop current areas including blockchain and Web3. He said that last year's developments in the world of cryptocurrencies, non-fungible tokens, and decentralized autonomous organizations showed previously unimaginable opportunities to strengthen the bond between content creators and their fans. We've always focused on expanding the YouTube ecosystem to help content creators take advantage of new technologies, such as NFT, he said. He also mentioned that YouTube can get inspiration from everything related to Web3. For information, the term Web3 refers to the next evolution of the Internet around blockchain, cryptography, and decentralized technologies. In addition, he also said YouTube plans to focus more on podcasts, which will give content creators a tool to better interact with their fans. Likewise, the Shorts feature will be developed to allow for the integration of the shopping experience. The annual letter from YouTube's CEO concludes with concerns about increased regulatory oversight of Google's activities. He noted that stricter regulations could have unforeseen consequences that would negatively impact the content creator community on the platform. It's also cool if it's true, the re-uploaders will bite their fingers because they may copy and paste other people's video content, but they can't be sold, but it will be dangerous if the content thief is the first to register slash sell it on NFT. It's also cool if it's true, the re-uploaders will bite their fingers because they may copy and paste other people's video content, but they can't be sold, but it will be dangerous if the content thief is the first to register slash sell it on NFT. It's also cool if it's true, the re-uploaders will bite their fingers because they may copy and paste other people's video content, but they can't be sold, but it will be dangerous if the content thief is the first to register slash sell it on NFT.